Once the process design has been finalized, the business process expert uses the BPNN scheme as the solution blueprint to discuss the implementation with the IT department. From the process scheme, the requirements for services, user interfaces and the process data model are identified. The project initiation process will be composed from the BPNN scheme in the NetWeaver composition environment. The first step in the project initiation process is an automated activity to determine the approver. It is a business rule implemented as a service. The business rule determines the approver based on the requester's department. It is implemented in the NetWeaver Business Rules Manager using a table view and data from the NetWeaver UME. When the approver has been determined by the business rule, a human activity to actually approve the project request has to be executed. A task is assigned to the human activity which is implemented as a Web Dimpro for Java development component. The Web Dimpro Java is implemented using the NetWeaver Developer Studio and provides user interaction with the process. All data required by the process can be interfaced using the data mapping capabilities in NetWeaver BPM. Mapping the data objects from the development component to the process data definitions makes business data maintained in the user interface available in the process context. In the process context, a structured data container has to be created that carries all relevant business data and process information through the process. This underlines the importance of proper data definitions when designing the process. For the project initiation process, the context is defined for request data, approval data, process data and project data. The automated activity for creating and assigning the project document, as was previously identified as a service request, is implemented using a custom built by service. The activity is assigned to service interface, operation and logical destination in order to execute the activity. The service itself is designed and created in the Enterprise Service Repository and published in the Service Registry. The required business logic is implemented as ABAP code in the SAP backend. The service interface and operations are imported into NetWeaver BPM as a WSDL file from the Service Registry. The interface definition is used to map the data defined in the process context to the data required for executing the enterprise service in the SAP backend. When process composition has been completed, the process is ready to be deployed. For this, the entire process is treated as a regular development component in NetWeaver Developer Studio and will be deployed to the process engine embedded in the sub NetWeaver composition environment. From there, it can be executed using events triggered from the attached user interfaces and services. A human activity in the process will be assigned to users as a task in the universal work list. Now, let's see how this works. Chris Burke is responsible for business development of the human resource department of the United Motors Group. Based on thorough analysis from the process performance monitoring, Chris wants to initiate a process improvement project for the onboarding process of the United Motors Group. To start the project initiation process, Chris opens his portal and navigates to the project initiation entry. There he finds the request form which he fills out with the relevant project data and attaches the previously created project initiation document. When he is finished, he submits the project request for approval by his manager. The implemented business rule has determined that Angela Winter is the relevant approver for the Human Resources Department. When Angela opens her universal work list, she will find Chris's request awaiting her approval. From the open task, Angela can see which process the task belongs to, what her involvement in the process is, and the details of the current activity. When she opens the project approval form, 
she will see the data Chris entered for her to evaluate. She can add some comments and change some of the data in the project request before she approves or rejects the request. When rejected, Chris will be notified, but for now we assume that with the changes made by Angela, the project request will be approved. With the project request approved, the next step is to have the budget for the project approved by Peter Sanchez, Manager Operational Excellence. From his universal work list, he selects the open task assigned to him, opening the budget approval form. In the form, he finds the relevant project data, the comments from Chris and Angela, and the attached project documentation. After adding his comments, Peter approves the requested budget. After budget approval, the process comes back to its initiator, Chris Burke. In his universal work list, he finds a notification that all approvals have been provided and the project request can be completed. Completion will trigger the project creation in SAP Backend using the standard and custom built services as defined in the process design. As a result of the process, the project has been created in the SAP Backend. So, let's check the result. In the project builder, we open the relevant projects and check the work breakdown structure elements created by the enterprise service. Here we find the project metadata, such as start and end date of the project and the duration. On a sub-level, we find the approver comments, saved as subtext objects, attached to the project. Finally, we can see the project documentation attached to the project in the SAP backend. All relevant business and process data from the process context has thus been safeguarded in the SAP backend. This project is off to a good start. While the process is active, it can be monitored using the standard business process monitor in the process manager. In the monitor, all details from the process regarding progress, history, activities and data can be viewed. Using the reporting options, process owners can get a clear overview of the activities deployed for that process. Furthermore, all data carried in the process container can be displayed, providing a clear understanding of the business data involved and decisions made. With the process improvement for the project initiation process realized, Peter Sanchez heads back to the IRIS performance dashboard to monitor the project management KPIs. To his delight, he sees that the efforts to go from analysis to process redesign and realization have paid off. Completing the cycle from business to model and model to execution using the tools from IDSHare and SAP has been successful. Further analysis on the project management KPIs will guide Peter towards future improvements and will provide better insight in the performance of the projects.